Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina and today we have, this is a 25 pound lot of all earrings and rings. This is one of my favorites to open because I love rings and earrings. And um, I do get this box quite often, but I think I've only filmed one of them because it's going to be a little difficult to film just because we have to match up all the earrings and you'll see what I mean when we open it up. But, and also it might take a couple of days to film this video. Um, probably won't get it all done in the first one, first video. But what I'll do is um, I'll have to pause the video sometimes just to do matches. This is the lot that I bought. 25 pounds of earrings and rings and sometimes they put these ones that are on the side in separate bags so when we open this and if they're separate bags we'll start with those because those would be already matched earrings or just a bag of rings so that'll make it a little bit easier for the video this one cost me um it, the bid went up to 267 which is a little high, but I did want it. Um, there A lot of people try to get this one nowadays, so it's really hard to win the bid, but I did win this bid. Um, with tax and handling and shipping, this one cost me $323.91. And most of the time they are worth it because there's just so much in the box. You'll see. So we're going to open it up. I did take it out. It was in a bigger box and I took it out of the bigger box. So there's no shipping label on this one, but I have not opened this box yet. So let's open it up. And like I said, if there's a smaller box inside or a smaller bag, sorry, if there's a smaller bag inside, there might be two or three of them. Um, then we're going to start with those. That way it'll be easier for the video. And if anybody's interested in anything you see here today, you can email me at wowtinalee at yahoo.com. It's also linked in the description of this video in every video. And you can check out my eBay, which is where all the worthy items will be listed. So it always comes, um, like I said, I've gotten this box a lot, so i kind of familiar with how they do this lot. It always comes in one big giant bag, and then somewhere in there, there might be little bags, but we'll, we'll see. Let me open this up. Let me take a peek. Okay. Hang on a minute. Let me just open it up. There we go. Trying to see if I can tuck this around the box. Yep, there we go. Kind of. That's better. So there we go. Lots of earrings. Ooh, that's pretty already. Lots of earrings, lots of rings. Um, let's see if we find any bags that we can pull out. I might want to dump it to see if a bag pops out. A lot of times there's a lot of hoops in these too, in these fabric ones. I usually just put those into my craft lots unless they're like special type of hoops or different, like different types. All right, so I'm not seeing a bag yet. So I think I'm going to dump it and see what we see. Okay, that was really heavy. 25 pounds. Sometimes I get the 50 pound one that's instead of earrings and rings, it's all necklaces and bracelets. Maybe we'll get that one next. But I kind of wanted to get more rings, so that's why I bought this one. So here's one of the bags. I don't know if there's more in there. This is just the one that I found when I put it on the table. So we're going to start with this one. It makes it a little bit easier because usually 
these are the ones that they showed in the picture and so they're already paired and that'll be much easier for the video so let's see what we find i do see some rings i love rings here's the first ring and i do see something in the inside it looks like L A F O I. Super pretty. I don't see any rhinestones missing, so let's take a peek. The metal is pretty good, not a lot of wear. And it has tons, I would say rhinestones probably. But the presidium is loading. Let's see what size it is. This one's a bigger one, which is nice. It's a 10 because I don't get a lot of bigger rings and I have a lot of people who ask for bigger rings. So this is a nice ring, size 10. But it's very pretty, nice fashion ring. I don't know what brand that is, so I'll have to look it up. It says L-A-F-O-I. So I will look this up and put a price on the screen. It is a size 10. It's in pretty good shape. I don't see very much loss. Maybe some scratches. It needs a little cleaning. Size 10. Price on the screen for that. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Let's switch it up and find some earrings. Keep it interesting. Here's one pair. These are really cool. So like I said, I don't normally list hoops, but these are pretty awesome. These are pretty awesome. They're rhinestone filled. I'll have to make sure there's none missing, but look, they're like fringed all the way around. That is cool. Um, I don't see any missing on that one. And yeah, there's none missing, so that's good. They're a little on the bigger side, so we'll measure them. I kind of like these ones. They're about two inches on the hoops. They're pierced. And they're pretty neat. Here's what the back looks like. And those are nice. I feel like my lighting's not very good, so I might have to play with it a bit. Um, I'll say $5 on this pair. They're really cool. These are pretty neat. $5 on those. So if you do see something that you like, um, along with your email, you can send me either a screenshot or the timestamp of when I showed the item. These ones would have been gorgeous, but they're missing one little rhinestone. I think they're plastic to make look, look. Ugh, made to look like wood um we might find this little rhinestone it just can be glued back in so i'm not going to count these out yet but i'm going to put them over on that side of my table which is where i put my all my um the things that are going to go in my craft bag are going to go on that side but if i find this i'll just glue it back on because these are really cute and they're clip-ons oops i'm almost going to break that too they're definitely worn on the back. These will probably end up in my craft, but they're cute. And then here's just um, like a flat metal um, button earring in like a teal color. They definitely need a little cleaning, and I'll do those for a dollar. I'll clean them up. And here's a gold tone hoop, half hoop. And I don't see any kind of maker's mark. These ones, a lot of these need to be cleaned. So just so you know, these ones definitely need a cleaning. They are cute. And I would put two backings, brand new ones I would put. Well, not brand new. I have brand new ones. Or also sometimes I clean them in my Sonic cleaner. So then they're like new. Um, but I would definitely take this one off and put a new one on. A different one and clean them up 
These are cute, and I'll say two dollars. Um, this looks broken. Let's see, where's the match? There it is. Yep. Oh, okay, so it's not broken. Yeah, I guess they are. Feels like ceramic. Um, it looks like something was dangling there, first of all. And, I, I mean, I'm sure that I can find this stud that goes in there. But it does appear that these are broken. So I'm going to put them over here. And here's a really pretty horseshoe ring. What's on there? What is that? Huh. It's a horseshoe, but what's in the center? I don't know. What is that? Really cute ring. It's in nice shape all the way around. And it says... Sterling, and then something a maker's mark underneath that right there, right there. There's a maker's mark, it looks like a diamond with an R, maybe. And I am going to test this to make sure that it's sterling. This is really, really pretty, though. It's on the bigger side. It's actually too big for my thumb. And it's measuring about a 12 and 3 quarter. I don't see any rhinestones missing. And we're going to test this one. So this is why this video is going to be definitely longer than one video. Because a lot of rings need to be tested and also sometimes the earrings too all right let's see here we go yes that is sterling there's the blue i didn't even scratch it that hard i should have scratched harder but i can see the blue so this is sterling and it's beautiful and it's also some sort of brand underneath um so i'm gonna have a price on the screen for this one too gorgeous all right clean up the acid before i put my arm in it guys i am so excited about this box so I know that I was supposed to do my second blue box next, but I started filming it and it was just as terrible as the first one. <laughs> so that's why I did not upload that video. Just so you guys know, not every box is good. Um, and I got two blo blue boxes from the same location and they both were not good. So... Hopefully I'll at least get my money back from those. But I mean, the goal is to make money, right? These are cute. Almost like um, fall colors, right? Or Halloween, maybe. The hooks are probably need to be swapped out. But this part is cute. They're like, um, they're like a acrylic. And we'll say $1 on those. They're like a teardrop shape. And they're kind of interesting how they're um, sewed up here with like a really cool copper wire. Pretty neat. I like those. We'll do a those for a dollar. And I was eyeballing this. <laughs> they're just rubber. But they're super cute flamingos. Oh my goodness. They're in really good shape and the wires, the hooks look brand new. And actually, these are 925 hooks right there. Yeah, nice. 
So those are cute. And I'll say $2 on the flamingos. I do like, oh, that is pretty. It's like an abalone teardrop. This is probably faux abalone. I don't, I don't think it's real, but it, I love abalone. Um, I don't know. There's something about it that I like a lot. The look of it. There it is. See, these should all have the matches, this bag. So that's the good part of how they put the bag inside of the bag. I don't know if this is a scratch right there. Some sort of dent right there. But these are cute. They have copper hooks. Um, you can put new hooks if you wanted to. They're teardrop, abalone inspired. Um, and I'll say a dollar. Cute. And wow, you're pretty. Gorgeous. I don't see any rhinestones missing. I think it's gorgeous. Here's the match. And it doesn't even look like dirty at all. Yeah, no rhinestones are missing. These are really, really pretty. And I think I'm going to say $5 on these ones. And I'll get a length because they do hang kind of low. I love these ones. They have faux pearls and lots of rhinestones. And they're about two and three quarter inches long. Love, love. These ones are in really good shape. Like they look like they've never even been worn. And I'll put backs. $5 on those. Gorgeous ones. All right. So far, I'm quite happy with this box. We haven't even dug into it. This is a super cute plastic beaded dangle earring. With a blue rhinestone at the top. Super cute. And it measures about two and a half inches from the ear. Pierce, they're in good shape. We'll do a dollar on those. Looks like there's something missing there, though. One little bead. Okay. like acrylic they're gray with little glitter spots this is what the back looks like and I don't see any branding on these but I'll have to google lens them because I don't know if this is a brand could be they're in very good shape I don't see any makers marks very nice um I'm gonna say three dollars on these ones we're going to try to keep this video moving along until we find something that needs testing. So these are hoops with faux pearls all the way around. They are in good shape. Gold tone. Pretty good shape. They're okay. I'll say a dollar. And like I said, usually I put, even if they're in pairs, I usually put all of these hoops in my craft lot. So... If somebody wants these, they'll are a dollar. If not, or sometimes I even make big lots on eBay with like, say, 10 pair of earrings. I don't know. We'll see. I could always make um, a lot on eBay that's just all hoops. This is really pretty. This is a really pretty hoop with the gold tone border and then like a plastic inlay that sort of resembles mother of pearl so these are cute they also look like they've never been worn because they still have this thing on there pretty sure these have never been worn they're a little scuffed up just from being rubbed up against the other jewelry though on the edges but they're super cute i'll do um 
I think I'll do two dollars on those. Holy moly, look at this one. That is a interesting, very interesting earring. <laughs> and hmm. It is magnetic. Wow. I'm wondering if this is a brand. I'm not seeing any branding marks, but I'm going to Google Lens these for sure. Because these almost look like they could definitely be a brand. Oh, okay. This one has a a backing stuck on it. There we go. Huh. Yeah, these definitely look like something. I'm going to definitely have to look these ones up. Um, Very, very interesting. Oh, no. The little pearls missing. No. I'm hoping it's in here. There's supposed to be a little pearl dangling right there. All right, so I'm going to put these to the side, but these are gorgeous. And I'm hoping I find this little pearl. There's absolutely nothing missing besides that one pearl. Erg. All right. That, that makes me sad, but I'm going to put them over here for a minute. Definitely not going to probably be putting those in my craft lot because those are gorgeous. But I don't see the pearl here in that bag. So maybe we will find it. We'll see. Here's like this really pretty star with rhinestones on top and faux pearls. Pierce their sugar fix. Where's the other one? It's funny because when I was editing this video thus far, um, and I was looking for an earring, it was right in front of my face. But as I was editing it, I was like, it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, these are really pretty sugar fix earrings. There's nothing missing. Really cute. Good. Very good shape. And I'll put some backings on them. And, you know, I'm going to say $4 on those. Those are really cute. There's no rhinestones missing and there's sugar fix. Nice. I'm loving this so far. But, like I said, this is all of the stuff that's paired up. Okay. Looks like um acrylic inlay and possibly a stone. Could be. Yep, it is a stone. It's not turquoise though. Probably dyed halite or some other kind of stone. So that is a stone. Not sure if this is sterling. It looks like it could be. Oop. So this part's definitely magnetic. Um, where's the other one? There it is. I don't see any sterling marks on it. And this ear wire is definitely magnetic. So that's a really nice pair too. And I like how the stones have different designs on them because they're natural stones. So they both look different. Not exactly the same. And I'm going to say $3. I like those. Beautiful. And I don't see any branding. But they're really, really pretty. Um, like a yellowish color rhinestone with lots of clear all around and in the inside. And these are also in very good shape. The ear wires look brand new. And there are no rhinestones missing, so that's good. These are beautiful. I'll say $2.
two dollars on those that's what the back looks like very nice Ooh. i think i saw this one i definitely saw this one um in the picture when i was bidding on this lot this is one one that i kind of liked the look of it so the hook the hoop is definitely magnetic and the little bird is not but i don't see any sterling marks all right so there's the match and the hoops themselves are not that big maybe half inch they look brand new and these are not sterling and i believe let me see i do believe that's a real stone yes it is a little little blue stone in the inside they're in very good shape and i'm gonna say three dollars on those they're really cute um these are cute The flower's movable, and they're like um, like a really thin plastic or rubber. And then you have this little rhinestone at the top, cute little, and the bottom, cute little dangle earrings. I think they're adorable. Probably on the older side. They have prong set rhinestones. And I think they're really cute. I'll do a dollar on those. They do need a little cleaning, but they're in good shape. They just need a little cleaning. These are really pretty too. They're interesting. Open filigree. Very good shape. We'll do a dollar on those. Let's get to a ring again. Try to switch it up. So this one's definitely um, really blingy costume ring and it's not missing any stones and it has an adjustable band which is in very good shape. Let's see if there's any kind of markings. I don't see any branding. But it's definitely an adjustable ring. So it's sitting at about an eight. Really pretty. I like that one. It's in pretty good shape. Maybe a little bit of wear right there. Pretty good shape. I like it. See, I love rings. That's why I love these lots. They make me happy. <laughs> rings make me happy look at beautiful um i'll say five dollars on that one it's really pretty all right so this one has a lot of ab coated rhinestones there are some missing and it is a copper ring definitely needs some cleaning I don't see any kind of branding, but this will most likely be in my craft because it is missing at least one or two, two or more rhinestones. So that one will be in my craft. It's copper on the band. Missing some rhinestones. Uh, here's a clip on really good shape not sure what brand but it's very pretty um, let's see there it is they're in very good shape they have orange um, plastic cabochons and I'll just say a dollar on those cute little clip-ons and let's get another ring Ooh, beautiful 
um silver tone i don't see any kind of oh there's something it does say 925 right there so we're gonna test it they're not always 925 but doesn't that look like glass i mean it looks like um it's definitely something i'll show you i think it went higher than glass actually Okay, I'll show you. It's gorgeous. So, Garnet Tourmaline Eyelight. Cries of Phrase Emerald Nephrite. I have no idea. Wow, it's just gorgeous and it's going higher than glass, but I don't know what. Um, so, Cries of Phrase Emerald Nephrite, Garnet Tourmaline Eyelight. I don't know what in those categories would make this stone, but it's gorgeous. And it does say 925, so we're going to test it. They're not always 925, even just because they say it doesn't mean they are. And so I don't like to sell something unless I'm sure. Definitely 925. So that's our second ring. We're doing good. This is gorgeous. I don't know what brand it is. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You know, I think I'm going to say $20 on this one. It's beautiful. That is gorgeous. And. We got to size it. I'm still mesmerized by how beautiful it is. It fits on my middle finger. Wow, that is gorgeous. It's actually a little big for my middle finger, but it is a 10. A little over a 10. I love it. Seriously love this one. All right. Definitely saying 20 on this one. It's probably worth way more than that. So if I end up listing it, it will be more on my eBay. Also, if you want something from my channel and it's already listed on eBay, as long as it doesn't have any bids on it, I can take it down for you and give me give you, you my channel price. But for those of you who would rather buy from eBay, this will most definitely be there. As long as a subscriber doesn't buy it first. Or I don't keep it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to keep it. it. Even though it's gorgeous. It's a tiny bit too big for me and I don't want to lose it. Love that. Man, I'm happy. So far, I'm so happy. This makes up for the two really bad boxes, right? This one's in okay shape. It has little acrylic hearts. Nothing wrong with it. Maybe he needs a new... It does have a little bit of wear. Here's the pair. We'll say a dollar. On those. These are... Something. Ooh, is that Sorvorsky? Oh, that's a swan. But it looks like it has spots on it. This is a Swarovski. I'm hoping I can clean this one up. Look, it has spots on it. I don't know if I'll be able to clean that or not. That is the Swarovski swan right there. Right there yep there it is and it's gorgeous yep all right where's the match to you 
So they have a gold tone, this type of clasp. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the piano in the background. My son all of a sudden decided to play. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get these spots off and um, also, I don't know if this is broken. So I'll have to play with these ones and clean them up. These could be on my eBay if I'm able to clean them up. Or if you want them as they are, I'll say $5. Look at that. Gorgeous. So as is $5, or if I'm able to clean them up and fix the backings, they're not, I don't think they're super broken. They just need a little bit of adjusting. Just a little of adjustment. Gorgeous. Love Swaborski. This is also a natural stone, I believe. Not the top. Not the top and bottom, but the center is definitely quartz amethyst citrine um, at the very beginning of jadeite spinel. Super cute. The hooks are good. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Got it. All right, so these are in really good shape. These are in really good shape. This is um, a natural stone. And then these down here, I'm not really sure what kind of beads they are. Um, hmm. These might end up in my craft because I think the beads are losing some color there. All right. Ooh. Wow. So pretty. So, um, there's rhinestones on both sides all the way down. And this almost reminds me, these type remind me of a caterpillar or something. I don't know if there's like a specific name, but these are so pretty. And I don't think I see any branding. Very good shape. Not missing any rhinestones, and they're very pretty. Very, very pretty. Not very big. Not too big, not too small. Perfect. I'll say $3. Beautiful. And then these ones are really cute, too. They're just like a really thin metal. Or aluminum, maybe. With like um. Almost like a lipstick swirl looking acrylic in there. Gray and black swirly. Um, they're not very heavy, so they're very light. And they are about an inch, two inches. And they're pretty good. I'll just clean them up, put some backs. $2.00. $2 on those. And this one has a copper hook. And this is not a real stone. I think it's ceramic or glass. Super cute. Dangle earrings. Oh, they're branded. Let's see what it says. It says, I don't know what it says. What does it say? Oh, mm, is that Premier Design? Looks like Premier Designs. So they do have some wear. They're not terrible, though. They look pretty good. Put new hooks, though, if you wanted to. And I'll say $2 on those. And here's another flat metal. These ones are clip-ons. I 
there's the front they're like a brushed gold with hammered at the bottom and they definitely need a cleaning and if I'm able to get them clean enough we'll do two dollars on those they're not very heavy they're very lightweight and they're articulated where they move so we'll clean those up and see and another one with a stone in it this hook is a little bent out of shape but that's no big deal let me fix that i don't know why they put that on there little um feathers with a little stone which may be faux. Yep, that one's faux. The hooks are in pretty good shape. They just might need to be a little bit bent in a direction. We'll say a dollar on those ones. Okay, let's go back to rings. I like to switch it up. Here's a loose stone that came off of something. I'm going to put that in my other pile. Here's another gorgeous ring. And I can't tell if this is dirt or missing rhinestones. So um, I'll have to inspect that further. It's a premier design right there. PD. I don't see a whole lot of loss to it. And once I clean it up, I'll see they could be just really dirty rhinestones. I don't think there's any missing. I think they're just dirty. I like the setting there, how it's set. It's very pretty Premier Design ring. Oh, let's get a measurement. It is a nine. Very beautiful. We'll say $5. And I'll have to clean this up. Cute little blue dangle. And we'll do a dollar on those. They may need new hooks. They're not terrible. Cute little flower ring definitely like a brushed silver and I can't really tell if it's dirty or meant to look like that and this is also a premier design ring I always say premier design it's pretty premier designs plural this one's a little bit rough looking so unless somebody loves it not missing any stones though. I'll see if I can clean it up. But for now, I'm not going to put a price on it. It might end up in my craft. It's cute. Um, the hooks on these are gorgeous. Perfect shape. And you have this. I don't know what that is in the center. Unpainted something with um, like a dark dark blue beads the beads are I think acrylic or glass we'll do a dollar they're in very good shape and the hooks are brand new okay here's another did this come off the one earring I don't know I'm gonna put that aside oh it came off of this which is missing a bunch. This ring is missing a bunch of things. It's in rough shape. This one will definitely, definitely be in my craft. I think these earrings look pretty cool, so I'm going to grab them. Next. So their gold tone hooks look good. 
and then you have like the teardrop and then you have this um beautiful gold chains dangling i think they call it like liquid sil liquid gold or liquid silver when they do this but i don't know that's the technical word but they're you know like a herringbone chain dangle they are on the longer side they're very pretty so i will measure these because they could possibly touch your shoulder Yeah, so to the very last strand down here, I'm getting like a five and a half from the ear. So they are quite long. They're in very good shape, like I said. Um, I can't, you know what? I have an idea. Having trouble putting them on my fingers, but then I remember my mannequin can hold them for me. So beautiful. That's what they look like. Very nice. I'll say $3 on those. Okay. Try to keep my prices low on my channel. And on eBay, obviously, I can't go that low. Um, but on my channel, I try to keep them. Ooh. Wow. Gorgeous. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous stone. And the ring is in excellent shape. Um, it does say something in the inside. I think it says 925, but I might have to, yep, 925. So we're going to test it. I literally just cleaned off my stone. So this is a possible, possible third sterling ring with a gorgeous green stone. Um, sadly, that one is not 925. It ate it right up. So that is sadly not really sterling. I can test it one more time just to be sure. Sometimes they don't scratch hard enough. But it doesn't actually look like it is when I scratch it either. So let's see. Yeah, it's definitely not, not sterling. So that one's a faker, but it's still really pretty. Let me show you. So pretty. Really good shape. Nothing missing, and look at that. It tests as the very high end of glass, the very start of garnet tourmaline highlight, probably a cubic green, and it's gorgeous. Not 925, but it's still beautiful. And it's a size nine, just maybe a nine and a quarter, slightly over a nine. Look at the condition. Gorgeous, gorgeous fashion ring. Looks like there might be some scratching right there. Very nice. I like it and I'll say $5. So remember this one says 925 and it is not, but it is a beautiful fashion ring size nine. And here's another ring with a black. I think it's just acrylic. I think it's just acrylic in there. It didn't test. 
It could be one of those stones that doesn't test though. Let's see if there's anything on the inside. Nope, just a heavy, heavy gold plate. And I don't see a whole lot of problems, a little bit of scratching, but remember we're zoomed in. So when you're zoomed in, you see every little tiny thing. It almost fits me. It's in good shape. It's another fashion ring, seven and a half. We'll say, we'll say four dollars on that one. Wow, look at this one. Oh, rhinestone missing. And not signed. So it's not in bad shape at all. It is missing one rhinestone. One, two, missing a couple or three. This one's going to be in my craft. It's in good shape other than the rhinestones missing. So somebody will be able to fix that one up for me. Make it beautiful. That'll be in craft, unfortunately. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, this one is marked 925. We're going to test this one. In those baguettes, I'm wondering if, let me see if they test. Is anything glass, garnet tourmaline eyelight? They might test. They're at the very high end of glass. So they're probably glass. And I don't see any missing. It definitely needs to be cleaned up, but if it is real sterling, this will clean up really good. And it's really pretty. I don't see anything missing. Let's just test it. And then I'm going to clean it up and show you if it is sterling. And it does look like it is. Okay. Huh. It's not disappearing, but it's also not blue. Yes. I didn't scratch hard enough the first time. It's definitely sterling. So I'm going to clean this one up. I'm going to edit what I've done so far. And I'll have a price on the screen for this one. I want to show you. I want to show you how pretty this is going to come once I clean it. Gorgeous. Again, so happy. All right, so... It still needs a little bit more cleaning, but you can see that I got it a little bit cleaner. There was a lot of patina. It still needs a little bit more cleaning here, but look how gorgeous. This ring is absolutely, absolutely stunning. And I did not put this in my Sonic cleaner yet. That might help a little bit more with the cleaning. There's a little bit of scratching if you look up close. So yeah, needs a little bit more cleaning. But this is a sterling ring. Does not fit me. Boo. Yeah, that came out really pretty and I only cleaned it just a little bit. I used a toothbrush. Um, real soft bristle toothbrush with some 
um, Dawn dish soap and baking soda, baking powder mixture with water. Um, and I just lightly scrubbed it, but look how beautiful the gemstones came out. And it did take some of the dirt off of the band. So just need a little bit more cleaning. And I love this ring. I wish it fit me. But it is almost a six. It's about a five and three quarter. Absolutely stunning. And I'm going to say 35 on this one. It just needs a little bit more cleaning, but that is sterling. Gorgeous. So I'm really happy with that too. So when I was editing, I noticed that this is already quite long. And look, we haven't even touched the bag. We took out one bag that was this size. And that's about how much we're doing today. <laughs> so we're going to finish this pile for sure. And then the rest will be for a new video. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to match those up though. Because, I mean, they're just all over the place. That's just crazy amount. If you just take a peek in there. That is a crazy amount of earrings and rings. <laughs> So I will definitely sort some out for our next video. I'll try not to inspect them too much though, because that takes away the fun of the surprise. Um, okay, so let's finish off some earrings and then we'll finish off the rings. Let's see, this one. Copper tone. Almost like um, a coral, maybe, in the center. Copper tone. We'll do a dollar on those. They're copper hooks. Cute little basket with rhinestones. These guys are really little, so... I'm just going to do a dollar. I highly doubt somebody will buy these from my channel. Um, so these will either go in my craft or they will go in a lot of either a mystery bag lot or a lot of earrings on eBay. We have the little angel earrings. Super cute. Handmade probably. We'll do a dollar. Um, and then we have these little guys. Glass. The hooks are good. This part's glass. They don't dangle very far. We'll do a dollar. Um, these ones are pierced. And I do believe that's a stone. Yep. There's a natural stone with some seed beads at the bottom. And then these dangly pieces. And I don't see a brand on these ones, but they're in pretty good shape. I will put some backings. And we will do $2 on those. So it looks like that's all the earrings that were in this bag. Now we have rings. Um, cute little flowers. With little itty bitty rhinestones. Gold tone. And I don't see any marks. Maker's marks. But it's super cute. 
it's um you know it's like a minimalist ring it's really cute size six we'll do two dollars and this has to be some sort of writing in a different language don't know it's adjustable and I don't see any markings So they don't have it at the biggest size right now. It's sort of looped over. So somebody must have made it smaller. But as it sits, it's at a 7. It can definitely go bigger. And I don't see any color loss. It's in good shape. We'll do $2. Here's a really pretty one. We have clear baguette. Rhinestones all the way around this beautiful citrine colored stone that is at the high end of glass. And it does say 925. So we will test it. Not sterling, but it is gorgeous. Cubic zirconias. You have baguettes. There's some sort of... Let me see if I can get that off. I see some marks on it. I don't know if it's dirt. Let's just see. Yep. It's coming right off. It's in very good shape, actually. So those spots came off. It's in good shape. There's no color loss. And I'm going to do $5 on this one. Just keep in mind that it does say $9.25 and it is not. It's about an eight and three quarters and it's in very good shape. $5 on that beautiful fashion ring. Love it. Nice. It is pretty. Oh, cute little butterfly. Super cute. Got some color loss down there. So this one will be in my dollar pile or craft. I have a dollar pile for yard sales. Um, I mean, if anybody wants this, it's a dollar. But you could always adjust, put on a new band, or fix the color. But it definitely has color loss. So this is going in my craft. This is also... Probably going in my craft. Oops. Yep. This one was also going in my craft. Too much wear. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Mm hmm. Garnet Tourmaline Eye Light, Crowds of Freeze, Emerald Nephrite, Tanzanite Aqua. It is a stone. Trying not to move my Persidium too much. So this one is a stone. Testing is tourmaline, tanzanite, chrysophrase. It's very interesting. Bezel set. Wow. Uh. <laughs> I love it. I didn't even flip it over to look at the band yet. 
Look at the beautiful etched design on the band. That is gorgeous. I don't see any marks though. And it is not magnetic. Hmm. I don't even know what to actually price this is. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google Lens this one also, and I'll have a price on the screen. So I don't know what it is. It's gorgeous. Oh, we should probably get a size. So it is adjustable and they have it size smaller there. You can see it's overlapping. And where they have it sitting, it's a seven. But it can go way bigger than that. Gorgeous stone in there. Love. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Um, This one, I don't see any markings yet. Gorgeous, gorgeous stone in the center. Rhinestones all the way around. These are not stones. They're just bumped up metal that are in gold tone. And a gorgeous, gorgeous stone in the center. Probably cubic. Let's see. Yep. So it's testing garnet tourmaline eyelight or the very, very, very high end of glass. The very beginning of Chrysophrase Emerald Nephrite. Um, really good shape. No color loss. It's open on the back to let the light through. It is a seven. I'm going to say five dollars. It's beautiful. Beautiful fashion ring. Okay. All right, I cleaned up the band a little bit because I saw some spots, but that can be cleaned. I just used my cleaning cloth and it came right off. Five dollars on that beauty. Oopsie. Ooh, it's like an open filigree. And I don't see any markings. Almost looks like pewter. It's not very big. So this one's a five and a half. Um, the band is in okay shape. It's open filigree, and I'll say $2. Now, this is pretty. I'm not sure if this is coming off on my screen, but it's not clear. It's almost like a bluish. I don't know. It's not completely clear. It does say something in the inside and I believe it's a 925 right there is it uh, let me get my microscope yeah s925 so we're going to test this one wow look at the reflection of that gem so it's not it almost looks like it has a blue tint to it. Like a light, light blue. It's almost clear, but not quite. And it is a cubic. Um, yeah. Garnet Tourmaline Eyelight, high end of glass again. Mm. Also the beginning of 
um, cries a phrase, Emerald Nephrite, the very beginning. We're going to test this one to make sure it's 925. This is gorgeous. And unfortunately, it is not. It is gorgeous. Really pretty. Love it. It is a size seven and a half. Absolutely stunning. I love it. I'm going to say seven on this one. It's not 925. It didn't test 925, but I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Seven dollars. And here we have two pearls in a copper tone setting. That's interesting. There's the band. It is adjustable. And it is copper. And I don't see a brand, but it's super cute. Probably faux. They're not cold. Remember, this one's adjustable, but it's sitting at a 7. And there is a tiny bit of wear. Nothing terrible. Where did I see the wear? Like, maybe right there, a tiny bit. Oh, right there, too. Right there. So, a tiny bit of wear. I think this is a really super cute ring. And it does go bigger, sitting at a seven. I'm going to say $4. It's really cute. Oh, that is stunning. Look at that huge baguette. Wow, it's so pretty. And I don't see anything missing. little dirty and there's definitely something in there it says something I believe it's a 925 there's the inside so this is another one that may need to be cleaned but it is gorgeous. Oops. It's definitely cubic. Yep. It's the very, very high end. Again, garnet tourmaline eyelight. But it's the very end of, a high end of glass. It's probably cubic. So unfortunately, I tested this several times and it it's not testing. And also I noticed there's a one rhinestone missing right there. But it is so pretty. I'm absolutely in love with it. Doesn't fit me. <laughs> this one is a size five and three quarter. And if anybody wants it with the missing rhinestone, I'll do $2. Otherwise, it'll probably be my craft. All right, just a few left. So um, this one, I had to stop the recording because um, my kids were all at my right outside my door making lots of noise. It's stamped 925. We did test it. Um, it is not 925. It's silver, but there's like gold accents on the four um, red rhinestones. Does need cleaning for sure. And I think this one tested as a cubic. Let me just... Yep. So this one is a cubic. It's Testing is glass. It just needs a little bit of cleaning.
but it's definitely not 925. I tested it twice. It's a size 7. And I'll say $4. I'll clean it up too. Really pretty purple solitaire. And definitely a fashion ring. I don't see any kind of markings. This one's very big. Well, not very big. Eight and three quarter. Does have color loss there. So this might be in my dollar. It's going to be a dollar in my dollar pile. Has some color loss. And we have. This one is missing a stone and also has some color loss and a lot of vertebrae. This will be in my craft. That's stunning. This one is marked. Okay, this is in my microscope, and I believe that's an N. -F -P. It's either an F or a P. I'll have to Google lens this one. Super pretty stone. Also glass. And then there's these really pretty, like, almost like, um, almost like a diamond shape stones on the side. Three of them. I'm going to have to Google lens this one because I don't know who, what brand this is. Definitely a very pretty fashion ring. And it is also on the bigger side, size nine. It's very pretty. Let's see if I can clean that up. Okay. I cleaned up the band a pinch um, because I noticed a lot of dirt. It's a little bit scratched and there is something right there so um but that's the only defects i see it is very very pretty and i have to look up the brand because i don't know what brand that is and all the price on the screen for that one and we have just three left this one is So this one is definitely a fashion ring. It is a cubic, teardrop shaped cubic. It's an orange color with beautiful rhinestones around it and on the sides. And there is a branding right there. And I believe it says RSC. And it is a size eight and a half. It's in very good shape. Very, very pretty fashion ring. And this one, I'm just going to do $2. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> $2 on that one. Two left. Really, really pretty again. Pretty good shape. This one says. All right, so I really can't read what the inside of this says. It says 18 and then three other things, but they're really jumbled up, and I'm guessing it's plated. Um, because 
This does not test as anything but a cubic zirconia. So it's probably plated. Um, it is a size nine and a quarter. It is in very good shape. Beautiful, no stones missing. And I'll say $5 on that one. Very good shape. And here's the last one for today. I don't see any kind of thing on the inside, no stamps. We have little red cubic zirconia. Very good shape again. Nothing on the inside. Size 7 on the nose. And that's really pretty too, so I'll say $5. Very nice. So, am I happy? Yes, very, very. After getting two very, very bad boxes in a row, I'm very happy with this. I mean, we got some really pretty rings. A lot of them are just fashion. We did get some that are real stone. Um, we got some that are 925. We got some that are vintage. Um, let's see, we got some that are gorgeous. Beautiful. This one, love. Love, love. And then we got a lot of really nice earrings too. So, yes, I'm very, very happy. Um, and look, we have not even begun. So my next video will be a continuation of this video. And we will see what else we find. I just want to put out some of the really nice things that I liked a lot. And let's see, what else? We'll put these. Sugar Fix, this was nice. Those are really pretty. Yeah, I'm super happy. Little flamingos are cute. <laughs> super cute flamingos. What else did we get? Um, we got these earrings. And these ones. Uh, what else? All right, I'm not going to put everything out there, but I'm trying to pick out the nice, nice ones. Oh, yeah, these more rings. We got a lot of nice rings today. <gasps> this one. This is probably these two. These two are the best, I think, because this one I looked it up. And, you know, when I was going over this the first time, I couldn't tell what this was. It's a horse. I see it now. I looked it up and somebody has this listed for 75 bucks. And so that's probably the best. And this is gorgeous. I love this one too. So those are probably my two favorite. But I mean, we got a lot of nice stuff. I'm very, very, very happy. Very happy. <laughs> I can't say how happy I am actually. Oh yeah, remember these? earrings uh-huh gorgeous and then we got the Swarovskis that do have some spots on the back but they're gorgeous on the front I'm very happy so I do believe this will make up for my two boxes that were a bust and then some and we will see you next time thank you so much for joining Please consider subscribing at 7.50. I'll be give, doing a giveaway. Um, it will be two beautiful lots of jewelry. And um, they'll be nice lots. And yeah, so that'll go to two of my subscribers at 7.50. We're getting very, very close. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.